Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, the SS behind me is on the race ramps. We haven't used these in a while, but we've got a project today where we needed to get under the front of the car. And as you guys can see, the Corvette is still dead behind us on the lift. Well, not on the lift, but in the third bay. So you guys might be wondering what we're gonna be doing today. Well, today we're going to be fabricating, creating, making, a part that they offer in Australia, but they never came on the SS. They did come on the Commodore, I believe it was the Commodore VE Series 2. And what that part is, it was a belly pan for underneath the engine. You know, I think I believe the technical term was a wet sump guard shield, something like that. And uh, basically what it is, it's a really thin piece of plastic that Holden offered for the VE Series 2, but obviously with the VFs, I think they got rid of it. But this is kind of going along the lines of the belly pan video that we did for the Corvette. I'll have a link in the description above for that. And uh, basically what that was, it was just to help reduce drag on the front end. So that's gonna be kind of the same principle here, but as you guys will see down below, you know, we'll show you where this thing's gonna bolt to. As you guys can see under the car, there are actually six bolt holes. I'll try to show you where they are. So here's one, here's the second one, your third one, and then your fourth one. On the driver's side, you're gonna have an existing uh, bolt hole because this is where the kind of the under, you know, the fender liner bolts to. The passenger side, we got the front one here, the second one, and then the back one is right here. So that's your six bolt holes, and this is in general what the entire belly pan slash wet sump guard is gonna protect. Now that you've seen the you know, belly pan is fully open and can cause bad drag, you know, the Camaros came with these parts stock. Now you guys might be able to take a stock ZL1 Camaro, 1LE Camaro, you know, I don't think the SS's came with it, but the, like, track pack cars, the Z28, the ZL1, and the 1LE, I believe they may have came with a front, you know, belly pan that we're trying to make here today. Now, guys, you might be able to order one of these belly pans from Australia, but since it's so big, it's going to cost you a lot of money, and they probably want a stupid amount of money for it. So... I have not looked up the part. I haven't contacted any of the holding guys that I know that sell parts, but honestly guys, we actually have the material for this project. I already have the bolts for it. So for me, this project will be 100% free. And you might be wondering, well, how is it free? Well, as you guys can see, this is actually left over from the belly pan for the Corvette. And what we're gonna be doing today is simply cutting out a square out of this. Now guys, I did look my sheet of quarter inch HPDE plastic is not long enough to either A, be a splitter on the side of the car or B, be a, like a front lip. It, it's, it's just, I used too much of the material on the belly pan for the Corvette for that. But honestly guys, this sheet was only like $95 or whatever it was. And if I ever want to go down that route of adding aero you know, to the SS, you can go ahead and do that, but for today, since we've got this material, it's kind of in the way, to be honest. Like, I actually store this under the SS. So that's how big and obnoxiously large this piece of material is. Like, I don't have any other place to put it. So we're just gonna use this up a little bit, and I don't know what the rest of this stuff will be used for eventually, but we'll see. So in that regards, I'm actually gonna include a picture of the part that's from Australia here. As you guys can see, I have both the actual picture of the item as well as the parts diagram view when you order it from the dealership. Now, we can't order that from our dealerships because of course this is a Holden part only and you know how that goes. Just importing parts from Australia is quite expensive and I didn't want to deal with that. We've got the material, we've got the bolts, so we should be good to go. Now, I want to show you my little prototype. Now this guy's is a very rough draft. I haven't finished this out yet, but basically what you're gonna see is the front bumper pan, if that's what we want to call it, is literally gonna end right at the very front of this. And then going back, 
we are going to end basically where the transmission bell housing is. There's no reason to keep going further back because the actual bolt holes stop where this back, where these two back bolts are. And so that's not gonna line up properly. So going any further back, there's really, there's no place to support it. And you're just gonna get even more heat from the headers. So just go ahead, grab yourself a piece of cardboard, get under the car and go ahead and start, you know, trimming away. And this is kind of what this is gonna look like. So this is like that. Let's line it up from the back because that is actually straight. And we're basically just going to cut this square out, trim it, and then go from there. Now, the only issue that I see is when I bolted this on from the front, as you guys can see, the bolt holes are not lined up. Like, it's, it's almost like they're like that. Yeah, it, it ended up being kind of crooked when I, when I prototyped this. So, I may just end up cutting it out and drilling the holes later. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go ahead, get this traced out, cut out, and then we'll do the bolt holes last. Obviously this is just kind of a template, but hopefully as long as it gets us in the ballpark, we can then just use our hardware. Hope you can see the belly pan under here. As you guys can see, we have our six bolts in. So we got the one, two, three on the driver, the one, two, three on the passenger. Try to get further back here. You guys can see we have the cutouts for the headers. The passenger side is fine, but the driver's side is a little bit close for my comfort. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and probably take out another, oh, half inch, give or take. That way, that way we've got plenty of room around the header. And uh, we've got, oh, two inches here, two inches here. Yeah, we're good there. So that is the belly pan installed. And as you guys could see, this is kind of what I was talking about. So here's the bumper cover. We've got the little deflector here. We've got the under bumper belly pan. And then the way this works is it actually overlaps with our belly pan so the airflow should come if you can see my hand i'm not sure you can should come under the bumper under the bumper belly pan under our engine belly pan and then back past the transmission and uh that is kind of the whole idea behind this belly pan and uh yeah and how we got it designed now yes there are some corners that i still might trim like this one and this one over here just to cut some material out but for this being free, it's not a bad project. And also guys, if you're wondering what these bolts are, these are actually LS3 oil pan bolts. I got them off of my Corvette. You know, I've had to drop the pan several times on that. And they're the same pitch and thread as the stock bolts that, you know, the nut certs that are in the uh, subframe. So should be good. And also if you guys are concerned about oil changes and whatnot, guys, this is only six bolts. Take that out and your oil pan, Oil filter, oil cooler, they're all right here. So that's pretty simple to get under. And there you go. That's hopefully gonna reduce the drag on the front end just a little bit. Now guys, you're not gonna see any huge you know, changes with this. I would say maybe in the, if you're doing a half mile racing, mile racing with an SS, 
you know, that type, or G8, you know, that type of event. That's, that might be where that you see uh, improvement. Eighth mile racing, quarter mile racing, I doubt it. I mean, the car does trap 125 miles an hour, so maybe we'll see something there, maybe not, but hey, you know, as they say, it's, it's nothing but test and tune, and you know, we're testing out a new little improvement. The cost was zero dollars, so you now you can't you can't beat that. And all it did was cost me like oh I've been out here for maybe like two hours. So you know if you guys have those sheets or whatever, you can use aluminum. You could use thinner plastic. You know it doesn't really matter. You're just trying to get you know air past the engine and you know try to reduce the front end drag. That's kind of kind of the whole point. Now like I said earlier, the Camaro like track pack cars like the 1LE, the ZL1, the Z28 for the 5th gens, their pans go past them. They may even go past the transmission a little bit. I know I've seen RPM Motorsports up in uh, Delaware, you know, when they've done header installs, they've actually had to trim those pans. So figuring it's the same spacing on the SS, they go maybe a little bit past the bell housing. That's probably where, you know, about where they end. So that's kind of the thought behind this design. Like I said, there is a holding part, but I I don't even know the cost. I don't even I don't even want to know what the shipping is. Maybe if it's a twenty dollar item and it's you be you know cheap shipping, that might be something you look into. But I don't know. I just for something that was free for me, I don't see what the necessity for spending the money. But hey, if this doesn't help out, it's six bolts, so we can remove it just as easy. So, but I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you want to know when I upload new content, hit the bell notification button down below. And as always, if you want to help support the channel, click all the links down below. We got t-shirts, keychains, stickers, all that stuff for sale. So thanks guys, have a great one.